so got week three of the Wheeler Crit and two cameras once again. This is uh, rear facing view is Paul's camera and that's me right there and I've got a front facing camera and the first thing I noticed uh, when I watched this video was how idiotic I looked with my helmet um, kind of sitting on my head like a bonnet and I don't know. I think the reason being because normally I wear, you know, kind of through the winter I'll wear a hat or something underneath my helmet and it just had just been adjusted for that bill and stuff. And I don't know, I kind of tried to adjust it and the wind was kind of pushing it back and I don't know. I had no idea it looked so stupid. And so, I don't know. Live and learn. Wish somebody would have told me that your helmet looks, you look like an idiot with your helmet resting on the back of your head like that. But, Oh well, I got it fixed and so it's all good. And, um, but anyways, uh, yeah, this is, um, it was a super, super windy day. Uh, I don't know, I, I don't know how it could, it seemed like every, you know, throughout the week, you know, it's pretty decent. And as soon as Tuesday night comes around, or Tuesdays, it, I, I don't know why, it's last every week progressively since the first one it's gotten windier you know each week's gotten windier than a little bit more than the last one so I don't know luckily uh, we're running the course counterclockwise so it seems like it makes it a little bit maybe more manageable you know you get a little bit rest, more rest on the long you know that long going into the south headwind straight away there and then you know as you kind of go through the the trioval part here, the little corner, it's, you know, mostly tailwind, kind of a cross tailwind both ways. Um, pretty wicked little crosswind when you hit that one, that far corner there, you know, before you go into the headwind. But uh, anyway, yeah, there was, uh, it seemed like definitely the turnout in the A race wasn't, wasn't super great. Just because, you know, I'm sure a lot of guys were just kind of, didn't you know kind of get sick of all the wind and stuff because it definitely you know the last two two times out it's you know I didn't do the last one but I know the two previous ones when it was really windy it's just it's super hard um, but yeah we just uh, you know kind of with low numbers seemed like the first I don't know first part of the race we mostly just kind of took it easy and stuff and uh, you know nobody really attack too too much you know it was more of a just um, I don't know kind of ride fast trade poles and stuff and then you know as the race went on they would start to started getting a little more surging and attacks and stuff like that so looks like pretty good surge action here 33 or so going into the little crosswind section looks like I'm getting gapped there just a little bit and you can see there's a gap behind me and it's really strung out so I'm pretty sure probably the last couple guys there probably at, uh, at this point didn't make it back into the group you know because that's a long way to go into a headwind um, you don't know who that is looks like maybe Evans attacking here it's a little later on um, you know most of the, the the way these clips are laid out you know they kind of they're in in time spliced together you know so the front view and the rear view are going to be, you know, basically it's Paul's version or my version, so, you know, it seems like it makes the most sense when you see us in the kind of close together where you can, I, you can see Paul from my viewpoint or I, Paul can see me from, you know, his viewpoint, so it kind of makes a little more sense that way, but from a time perspective, we're right on time with each other, but every now and then if we're just riding along, I kind of just cut those bits out, so, you know, it's a definitely a job with you know close to two hours worth of video and just trying to you know splice together and um, you know take out the best little scenes and stuff so you know thanks again to Andy because he's been doing a lot of work with um, you know changing the video formats and putting all the syncing up all the the Garmin info there and um, so yeah thanks a lot Andy um, I don't know, you three or fours, that guy right there in front of me, old Stephen Kate, you know, if you guys want to get an education in bike racing, you just need to watch that dude. Um, 
you know, I've learned basically a lot through him just through the years, just, you know, watching his positioning and his position going into turns, you know, and, um, you know, he's, he's definitely a guy, you know, as far as you, you, you just watch him, you can learn from it, you can maximize your potential with the, the fitness that you have on hand, but, you know, 10, 10 years or so ago, he was definitely one of the, the big dogs around, you know, one of the top guys around here, and so, you know, I used to ask him a lot of questions and stuff back when I was just kind of, uh, you know, learning, kind of trying to make my way up through the ranks and such, so just just passing that along, that's some good information, you watch that guy, you threes and fours when he does the three four race, so, um, anyway, yeah, it looks like Evan's up there drilling it, there's Chad, you know, both of those guys, you know, Chad was taking some really hard pulls, Chad, Norman, those dudes were going pretty hard, you know, making it hard, definitely, you know, increasing the pain, the pain of the, the night and stuff for sure, you know, Andy kind of hung back, it seemed like till we were like 20 minutes in, and then he started throwing down, well, Daniel Larson was, you know, he, he was kind of, seemed like he attacked, I don't know, probably six times throughout the night, and one of them almost stuck. I don't know. It's coming up here in just a little while. But, uh, yeah, I'm not sure how far along this is actually in. This may be uh, 15, 20 minutes in at this point. I don't know. Some of the video footage was, you know, this part, you know, with the sun behind me, was, wasn't too hard to see what's going on. But, you know, you get some points where it's, you know, I started getting hard to kind of looking at the video to see who's who. That looks like where Andy goes on his... Um, first attack, so I think it was about 25, 23, 25 minutes in at this point, so, um, but yeah, that definitely got a reaction there, um, it's like we're doing some pretty heavy watts, 500 and something there, probably killing it here in the tailwind section coming out, yeah, you know, 700 watts, you know, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I haven't counted, but just looking at my power profile through the night this was definitely i think the highest my highest normalized power of any of them i've done so far this year so um you know i haven't counted but there's you know i don't know how many over 500 watt spikes you know that personally i had but it, it seemed like a lot I've been trying to do some uh you know some intervals lately to kind of match the, these kind of efforts but you know um it's kind of funny we did the the NWA road race and you know just doing so many of these you get so used to the whole you know just hammering attack 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 counter attack you know and if you breathe you throw in an attack yourself or whatever and so it, you know it's kind of kind of weird doing that race you know and most of the sack the attacks are so subtle and I don't know it almost seems like kind of racing in slow motion and stuff but um yeah, we're just kind of, you know, there goes Dan, you know, and I think this is the one where he almost stuck it, because, you know, we had just, I think everything had just came back together at that point, and so everybody's kind of looking at each other a little bit, and I think Paul took off, and, um, I don't know, maybe Evan, or I'm not sure who, but, you know, we start getting after it again here, and yeah, it's Paul right in front of me, so, you know, I'm getting gapped off here, you know, I hit almost, you know, nine, hit almost a thousand watts, punching it, taking off there, and, um, well, Paul did anyways, I don't know what, what my power was, but I'm obviously getting gapped, and so, yeah, I'm pulling here, getting ready to cut into the headwind, and, you know, honestly, at this point, I was thinking I'm, I might get dropped, because I was kind of on the ropes right here, I didn't have, you know, have a ton of, uh, you know, available power to go at this point, so Evan kind of saved me, and, you know, probably this group of guys, since obviously they were back behind, you know, it would have, you know, if, if, if it wouldn't have been for him, then those those three guys up ahead would have, you know, that would have probably been the podium. They would have got away because it was probably at this point maybe getting close to 30 minutes in. So, yeah, there's Paul's view. Um, 
So yeah, we're rolling along again, kind of regrouping, and um, it's like I decided, yeah, I decided to go and attack here. You know, it's kind of one of those things like thinking, oh, everybody's super tired. You know, sometimes that's the best time to attack, and you know, sometimes they just let you go, or you know, I figured, you know, I was starting to get kind of tired, so I figured maybe you know, a couple guys would maybe bridge up to me, and we could right away start rotating so it wouldn't have been so hard you know just you know having to accelerate so hard over and over but um i don't know i think i stayed away just solo for a lap or so and then you know once again it got all back together sitting there in the arrow got my elbows on the bars in the arrow tuck and stuff there so <clears throat> um yeah i think uh I think Andy was, I looked over and I saw him up, you know, up on the front pulling and stuff, and looks like, uh, yeah, there's Andy going back, so I don't know, if we, you know, Evan may have been there pulling, but, uh, you know, we're, it looks like, yeah, it looks like there's Evan coming back, so it's, you know, we're uh, going, it's all back together, oh, there goes Paul, or um, somebody's up the road, I think Andy may have, you know, countered, so, um, you know, it, once it went to get kind of towards the end, like maybe, I don't know, seven, eight, ten laps to go, somewhere in that neighborhood, it got pretty hard. You know, Andy was attacking a lot, Dan was attacking a lot, and uh, I don't know, I think here in just a bit, we should be coming up on, uh, I don't know if it's this, yeah, it's probably the next lap or so, we'll be coming up on uh, five to go. You know, at this point, I was hurting a little bit, but I was, you know, I was feeling pretty good that it was getting kind of towards the end, you know, and I was still pretty much in the mix. Looks like there goes Dan again. Um, you know, I'm sitting on, there's Norman pulling it back in, so, I don't know. It seemed like just before the five, five to go, I kind of got caught up in, a, you know, I was trying to stay somewhat towards the front, because when you get... You know, with this few of guys, you get kind of too far in the back, and it starts to get, you know, still a little herky-jerky, which, there we go, we uh, just got the signal five to go, so, um, you know, so I'm sitting there second wheel, you know, and a little bit tired, but feeling pretty good, you know, I don't know how many matches I had left at this point, but it, you know, because it seemed like I was trapped kind of in the you know, maybe the five laps to go, you know, there was some attacks and stuff, but I was kind of just in the top three or four, so I had to take, you know, a couple of pulls a couple of times, which I'm taking a pull here, pretty tired, looks like I'm going pretty slow there, slowing it down, looks like I've been stretching a little bit, you know, slow down here a little bit, everybody's catching their breath just for a second, <coughs> and then, um, I think, um, yeah, we're already ramping it back up. I think uh, Andy may have, you know, he attacked probably, you know, six times. You know, he would attack half a lap, and then as soon as it got back together, attack again. But, uh, you know, I was kind of taking four to go here. So I was thinking I was a pretty good spot right here. You know, I wanted to be kind of towards the back, not necessarily on the front, but, you know, maybe sitting in about fourth or fifth would have been about perfect in this Looks like about roundabout where I was at, but uh, yeah, pretty good attack there. Almost 800 watts, doing over 700 for a pretty long time there. So it's, I don't know, you're pretty anaerobic, you know, most of the time here. Looks like I'm definitely struggling there a little bit. You know, right here behind Paul. Looks like, uh, I don't know, who is that? Evan and Chad and Dan. They're hanging back a little bit. You know, I think Andy attacked, and then he probably attacks again coming out of this corner. Yeah, yeah, Paul hit, hit about a thousand watts there. And, you know, it's strung out again. I'm, looks like I'm chasing Gordon here. And, I don't know, I guess this is probably three to go right here. Getting kind of dark going this way. You can't really see too much who's up front there, but, um, you know, still feeling pretty good from out here, looks like pretty low wattage right now, recovering a little bit, you know, 
kept getting gapped slightly coming through that corner, but it's so easy, you know, when you would just hit that headwind, it was just, you would just get sucked right in with minimal effort to the, you know, even if they were maybe two or three bike links ahead of you, it was pretty easy to catch back on going up into this, you know, the draft, you could get such a long draft, you know, just coming around, so, I don't know. So it tells me uh, Andy's going to attack here again just in a second. But, um, yeah, somebody's going pretty good there, maybe. Looks like it's about to get semi strung out. But, uh, I don't know. I think I got two, uh, you know, or one, two laps to go in here, and I was pretty much on the ropes. I think those last, last few little efforts really, you know, it's like I'm, you know, I'm gap, getting gapped again there. There's a couple guys behind me. Probably holding, well, it looks like there's just gaps everywhere. Um, but they're, you know, coming through here. I don't know. Looks like, uh, yeah, we're going hard again. You know, 25, 26 into the headwind. It's like Norman got popped. Um, yeah, I was getting popped and then... Evan comes by, Evan and Dan, so, you know, I jumped in with them, but I think my time was pretty much numbered here, we're coming up on one to go, and, uh, yeah, I think this is the last of my video, yeah, I'm getting popped right there, and then made it around to one to go, and started heaving, heaving on the bike on my last lap, but, so, uh, basically, you got Andy up front, Paul sitting on his wheel here, and taking one to go right there one to go so they're going they got a huge gap i remember kind of watching it at this point and thinking out oh, well there's the podium you know you got andy paul and gordon you know they had a huge gap right here it looks like uh you know andy's holding it pretty good headwind but you know he gets kind of towards the end starts to stall out you know if gordon had any air left right here he could have attacked would have been a good time you know he may have just been waiting to you know getting ready to sprint or he was probably winded pretty good himself but you know Evan and it's like Evan Chad and Dan or, or Evan Dan and Chad there are coming up quick some momentum you know and then just say hit the tailwind section Paul punches it there goes Andy going backwards and uh, so yeah that's basically how it finished Paul just leads it in from here, and then uh, so you got Paul, Chad, uh, Paul, Evan, and um, Dan Larson. So yeah, that's it. And um, thanks for watching, and we will see you guys next week.